Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle. It's it's weird because I usually talk about love and I usually talk about you know emotions and stuff, but um, I want to talk about um, dating as a trans person and kind of like romance as a trans person because it's something that uh, a lot of people probably wonder about but are scared to ask for whatever reason. But that's what I'm here for to answer your questions. So first of all, let me just say that dating as a trans person is a very complicated, um, it's very intense and you have to be very selective with the people that you um, possibly have any relations with. And um, the reason I say this is because being trans is a very delicate situation. Um, and I don't really think that a lot of people understand that. I have never dated anyone and I don't really care to date anyone because it's like they look at me and they see, okay, she's pretty, like she's attractive, she is intriguing, she's mysterious, and they find out I'm trans and they're like, I don't see how it's such a big surprise but it shouldn't really matter because at the end, like we're all human, right? And if you're, if you're, it's really, it's difficult because some people have, you know, preferences and whatever. I don't really have preferences. I don't care. Um, if I'm open to everything basically, but dating as a trans person is, um, it's really difficult because there are people out there who will hurt you physically and emotionally. There are people who prey after trans people just so that they can attack them. People who use trans people for social climbing. Um, and then people who are only interested in having the trans experience. And to me, that's very pathetic because I have a lot more to offer than my body. You know, I have a, I have a lot more to offer than just my body. And if I'm dating you, I don't know why you expect anything sexual at all because I'm not that girl right now. There, There's a lot of negative things that go on in the trans community with, community with dating and it's very difficult to find someone who is appreciative of what you do and you know your journey without constantly focusing on the fact that you're trans. It's like, do you want a cookie for not caring that I'm trans? Because when you keep on repeating it, it's like you're trying to prove something, you know, and I don't need you to prove anything. I just need you to treat me like a normal person. And of course there's, you have to have talks when you're dating a trans person about, you know, if it's, if it's involving sex, you have to have talks about that and you know, what your partner's comfortable with and what they're not comfortable with. Personally for myself, I'm not really into that right now because I think it's something that's a lot more um, intense for me and I've never dated anyone. And you know, I just had a crush on someone. Or I don't know if it was a crush or even like more, a really strong affection for someone that found out, you know, they don't respect trans people. And that's that's not really the greatest thing to hear, but it, it did remind me that just because someone looks nice and they're nice to other people and maybe they're nice to you doesn't mean that they're going to make an exception for you. Um, which is unfortunate because I think I have a lot to offer. I think that I'm intelligent. I think that I'm courageous. I think that I'm beautiful. I think that there's a lot more for me to offer and if you can't see past this one thing about me, what does that go to show about you that you can't really look past anything except for superficial looks and and if, if that's more important to you than getting to know me, getting to know you know parts of me that other people might not know and I don't mean that in a sexual way, I mean that in an intellectual way, you know, speaking to me, getting to know me through words, through poetry, through conversations. These are all things that people are constantly missing out on because they're afraid of trans people. And I get it. It's something that is not something you deal with every day. It's not something you encounter every day, but you're going to be encountering it a lot more. So just at least like, all I'm saying is if, if there's someone in the future that I am ever going to be interested in, again, all I want is for someone to just take interest and, in, you know, hey, maybe get to know me. It doesn't mean you have to date me. It doesn't mean you have to have anything with me. You can just be friends, but like, get to know me. I don't, I don't want to just be seen as a trans person because I'm not just a trans person. 
I'm I'm a leader, I'm a musician, I'm a poet, I'm a makeup artist, I'm a student, I am I'm a human being. And a human being is not just looks. A human being is so much more than that. And it's it's difficult to trust people and to want to put emotions into people when I don't even know if they care about me or if they just are doing it for social climbing. And yeah, I'm intimidating and it must be really weird to find out, oh, you know, Gabrielle likes you, Gabrielle thinks you're hot. But I'm not sorry for that. If I think someone's attractive, then I think someone's attractive for a reason. I don't think that it's bad to have attractions to people. I don't think it's bad to be upfront about the way you feel about someone. Because take it like, why won't people take that as a compliment? Like they run away from it. Just because I'm attracted to you doesn't mean I want to date you, first of all. Second of all, just because I'm attracted to you also, it doesn't mean that I want to marry you. It just means, hey, I think you're attractive and, and maybe I want to get to know you. Maybe I want to, like, attraction is not only something that is sexually driven. Attraction for me is something that I think is, there's depth to you. There's something about you that's mysterious that I think would be interesting to learn more about. It's... It, for me, it's more about you as a person, you as a mind, you as a person with emotions and thoughts and, you know, I don't care about sex. I don't care about that. I care more about having conversations with people and, you know, just getting along with people. That's what I think is different is that a lot of people think that sex is instant gratification and it is, but I don't need that. What I need is to get to know people on an emotional level before because it's something that's very touchy for me. It's very difficult for me to um, be comfortable with that. But if someone gives me the time of the day and you know they, they talk to me, that makes me feel more comfortable with them. And I don't really care if someone doesn't want to date me because I'm trans. Because honestly, if you're if you're like heartbroken over the fact that someone isn't interested in you because you're trans, why are you wasting your time and emotion over someone who doesn't respect you? They don't respect you, point blank. That's That's it. You deserve someone who does respect you. You deserve someone who is not ashamed of who you are, not ashamed of your identity, not ashamed of your past, not ashamed of, you know, your imperfections. Someone who just respects you overall. That's what you deserve, and that's what I deserve, and I know I deserve that. So when I hear, oh, this person doesn't date trans people, and it's like, okay, I don't care. Like, I have people like lined up that would love to talk to me, that would love to have conversations with me. I'm not losing anything. I'm not heartbroken. It doesn't really matter to me. But I would appreciate if people, you know, did take the time to actually get to know me because you see something. Um, you see a person on the outside, but you don't know me at my core. There would be a lot more understanding if people got to know me, but people really don't want to do that anymore. They think it's just instant that you, you look at someone, you think they're that they're attractive and suddenly you're dating, but I just don't think like that. So honestly, if you do want to like get with me or whatever, talk to me and have conversations with me, get to know me before. And then, I don't know, whatever happens, happens. Thank you guys for watching this video. And um, if you are dating a trans person, remember that we have a lot of stuff on our backs too and what we go through is a lot more dynamic than a lot of people think and you need to respect that so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video